Praise the Lord. I greet all of you in the marvelous name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And thank you, Pastor Isaac, for the time of leading worship and praying for different prayer concerts that we are these days praying for. And also I recognize, understand the situation that is prevailing <clears throat> in our nation as well as the whole world is under the danger and threat of the virus. And I also understand that many of you are at home and spending your time with your family and not going out and without job, you're spending time in home. And I, we also know that the Sunday that we gather together in the church but this time we are not able to uh, gather there but these days my prayer is that let our house turn to be a church let us make this time most useful and so that we may understand God's will and God's will throughout our life so in this morning, uh, let me have a few thoughts that really God was uh, bothering me. And I was thinking on this uh, Sam that throughout this week, as we were going through a tough time. And let me read uh, Sam uh, 91 for you. And if you have uh, your Bible with you or in your mobile digital, you can swipe Sam 91. I would like to read for you, please, you can listen or you can re read with me together. Uh, here I go. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, or of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, or of the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right side, but it shall not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample down. Because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high, because he has known my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and let him see my salvation. Psalm uh, 91 is the psalm that is really encouraging and talks about the God's protection and divine protection for his people. And when we think about this Sam, uh, this Sam has to be think with the Sam number 19 and it can be uh, both can be seen or think together. Sam number 90 uh, was talking uh, about the, the Sam of Moses and Moses is talking about the the transitoriness or the shortness or the fragile or the 
the simple life of human being how the human beings the life of the human beings are very short and it is very fragile and destroys very soon and the sam number 90 was talking in the context of uh, the his brother the the departure of his brother as he was in the sorrow he was in the distress he was talking to god that he understood that the the human life is very short and he was talking about the human life is 70 or if it goes more than that 80 and it is talking about the shortness of human life and then uh, he understood the purpose of god in the human life and sam number 19 uh, uh, 90 verse 12 uh, talking about so teach us to number our days that we may present to you a heart of wisdom so the moses praying the prayer is that lord you teach us to number our days the greatest wisdom that human being can ever achieve to number our days how to live on earth how to live on earth by fearing god so that is the greatest lesson that human being can understand or human being must be understood and moses realized the value of human life and the shortness of human life and he also understood the failures that that happen throughout the life of the israelites and when the israelites were in the desert in the wilderness and they did not really uh, even after understanding witnessing the miracles of jesus uh, miracles of god and experiencing god's touch in their life still they were not able to understand or they were not able to serve the lord love the lord with all their heart and they were stiff neck people they were the people who murmuring against god so they realized their mistake that's what the sam number 90 talking about uh, 90 verse 7 for we have been consumed by your anger and by your wrath we have been dismayed so god's anger was there in the wilderness and then they understood the wrath of god in their life and then they come back to the god come back to god's presence and crying out to god and praying to god lord teach us to number our days to live in the god's presence with a fearfully and now they understood they need to fear the lord they need to serve the lord with all their heart and they realize their mistake and now they are crying out to the lord now then the sam number 91 and the we can see the three things that i would like to share with you from the 90 sam number 91 and the sam number 91 talking about god's protection for his people and the divine protection for his people and the, there is a shortness of life there is the the human beings are fragile and they don't have uh, the strong life and they need to trust in the lord and sam number 91 written in the context of the the person who are sick or the the people who are affected by the sickness the people who are affected by the danger maybe the, the same situation that is prevailing in uh, in the present context and many of the people are affected by the sickness that we know that the corona virus is permeating the whole world and it is threatening the human being now it is the uh, the man or the human beings are fighting with their life and fighting with this virus and we see that the streets are empty the shops are being shut down and we don't see the people outside you know that is the, there is a danger now the people all are at home because they wanted to uh, be safe from this danger and we uh, you know recently uh, from this context the as the the dangerous or the the people are in the threat and israel uh, prime minister benjamin netanyahu he says 
and his government plans to use anti-terrorism tracking technology to locate the people who have been in contact with those who infected by the coronavirus. And then he was telling, we will, will very soon begin using technology. So the digital means that we have been using in order to fight terrorism. So they use the uh, digital technique to fight against the terrorism. So he says that describing the virus as an invisible enemy that must be located. There is an invisible enemy that we must be located. Now the fighting between the human being and the invisible virus. When we come to the God's presence, there is an invisible enemy that threatens your life, your spiritual life and to pulling you back from God and pulling you away from God. There is an invisible enemy that is prevailing against you. And the same thing that is Sam is talking about, there are invisible dangers that is happening in this Sam. And he was uh, talking about uh, there is a hidden traps, there is a deadly plagues, and there is a terror at nights and arrows by day, or stumbling, uh, stumbling over the rocks, and the facing you have to face the lions and snake, uh, snakes, and however. All these terrorist attacks, snipers, reckless divers, or exalting or new diseases, everything may come against you. But the Sam is talking about God is my refuge. And he is telling that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And in this Sam, three things that he is talking about. One is verses 1 to 2 talking about God's protection for his people. And the second thing is God's deliverance for his people that is verses uh, 3 through 13. And then third thing Sam is talking about God's assurance for his people verses 14 through uh, 16. As this Sam is talking about this uh, uh, the character of God and he was talking about two things about the character of God the first character of God is God is Elion that is the word God is most high verse 1 uh, verse 1 talking about God is most high the Hebrew word is God is Elion Elion so the God is a transcendent God God is most high God and God is above all your problem and God is above all your struggles and God is above your uh, strength. God is above everything and he is a transcendent, intangible God and he is an immutable God, infallible God. And God can really help you in every presence and every times that you are facing the trouble. And the second, uh, the quality, the character of God is talking about God is almighty. The Hebrew word is Shaddai. So El Shaddai, God is almighty. There is a two meaning for this Hebrew word. One is God is omnipotent. That is, that means God is able to do anything for your life. And the second thing is God is sufficient. God is sufficient. God is sufficient to meet all your need and even God can protect you and God can provide you. God can meet all your need even when you are in the trouble, when you are in the struggles. So the psalmist is talking, uh, telling that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. So there is a protection in the God's presence. And he says that I say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. So he is my refuge. He is my dwelling place. He is my shelter. You know, there is no security. There is no safety in this whole world that we are realizing throughout these days. And as I mentioned, people are not outside of, you know, outside of their house. 
know they are all staying inside the house you don't see the people are walking in the streets and the and the shops and everything closed down and the people understood realized that there is no safety there is no secure in safety place in this world and they also now spending time at their house and the recent news from the israelite health minister was talking about there should be division at your home that older people the the corona virus the the right cause of the corona virus is mingling between the older people and the younger people so there should be a division and separation between the older people and younger people you see that you are not safe at your home even but now what god samist is ta- talking about there is a safest place and there is a security there is a refuge in all your trouble when you find that there is no security there is no safety and there is no secure place in this world and you have secure and safest place in this world in the, in this world that is god's presence and god is your refuge and every presence help in trouble he can t- uh, take care of your life even the enemy comes to attack you or put you in trouble or maybe you are threatened by lot of pressures outside that you are facing but god is the refuge and strength he can care for you he can uh, give you strength to your life so now the psalmist is talking about god's protection in your life and the second thing the psalmist is talking about god is the person who deliver from all the dangers all the dangers and so he was explaining about the dangers that he is facing uh, you know verse 6 uh, we're talking about of the pestilence that stalks in the darkness or of the destruction that lays waste at noon and then verse 10 talking about no evil will befall you nor will any plague come near to your tent nor will any plague come near to your tent it is a god's promise that god's protection and his care his presence is there with you you see the god's promise again verse 7 a thousand may fall at your side and 10000 at your right hand but it shall not approach you it shall not approach you and you will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked the enemy you will see the recompense of the enemy god is going to deal with the enemy god is going to deal with your problem and god is going to deal with your struggle your problem and any struggles that you are facing you know god's promise is there with the israelites when the israelites were in the egypt egypt and we saw uh, that the the passover night israelites there were uh, the cry out from the israelites and the the israelite people uh, uh, the cry out of the egyptians the israelite people witness god's protection in their life when the first born of egyptians were dying in the streets and god's protection was there and they also witnessed when they came out from the egypt and they were walking uh, through the red sea and they have witnessed that the pharaoh's army was completely destroyed in the red sea in the water of the red sea so they have witnessed god's power god's protection god's strength in their life and now god's you know god's promise is there with them what is the god's promise that thousand may fall at your side and 10000 at your right hand and it shall not approach you because god has commanded his angels to protect you to guard over you and there is a verse uh, you know uh, exodus chapter 23 verse uh, 20 talking about behold i am going to send an angel before you to guard you along the way and to bring you into the place which i have prepared 
So God's angels, God has commanded his angels to protect you, to guard over you. So God's protection and God's care is there with each one of us. And he is there to help us. He is there to care for us. And he is there to protect for each one of us. Now, the third part, the psalmist is talking about God's assurance. And what is the God's assurance? Verse 14 says that because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him. I will deliver him. And then I will set him securely on high because he has known my name. Because he has known my name, I will deliver him. I will secure him. And then he will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. So God will rescue, uh, rescue. God will honor you. God will take care of you. And his protection is there with you always. And the last verse is telling that with a long life, I will satisfy him and let him see my salvation. And you will see God's salvation in your life. What is the salvation? Salvation is a deliverance. So the deliverance from your sickness, deliverance from your enemy, deliverance from your emotional struggles, deliverance from your physical problem, any struggles, any problem that you are facing in your life. And God's salvation is there for you. And do you need or do you think that God, you need a God's salvation in your life? God's deliverance in your life? You may be watching from different places, from at your home and different situation. Maybe you are thinking about your life. How, how am I going to face my future, my forthcoming days? If everything shut down, if everything closed down, if every doors before me close down and what I'm going to do it. But now God's promise is there and his salvation is there for you. When every doors are shut before you, God will open a new door for you. And his salvation is there for you to your emotional problem, to your physical problem, to your physical or financial struggles, any struggles that you're facing. God's presence and his salvation is there for each one of you in this morning let me conclude my message here by saying the three mm -hmm. things that we have thought from this psalm the first thing that God's protection for his people and God is my refuge and he is my dwelling place and he will take care of me and he will protect me and the second thing is God's deliverance for his people. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right side, but it shall not approach you. God's deliverance is there for you and he will deliver you from all kinds of struggles, all kinds of problems. And the third thing, God's assurance that, that because you love God, because you serve God, because you committed your life to God, because you love him and it is his promise and it is his word that he will deliver you. He will guard you and his salvation is there for you. And God's assurance of salvation is there for you. His deliverance is there for you. Would you like to pray with me in this morning as we close this section? If, if you are in trouble or if you are in a any kinds of need, maybe emotional, maybe physical, maybe the threat that you are facing, maybe the struggles that you are facing or the challenges that, that is prevailing in your life. And we know the, the sickness that is permeating the whole world. Let us pray. Let us pray for the people who are in the trouble, who are really in danger. And we know that the, pe the people even are not able to spend with their own beloved ones. And there are people who are dying. 
let's intercede or let's pray for the people who are in a trouble people who are in a dangerous situation let's also remember each one of us that you any concerns any prayer thing or prayer concerns that you are in let's pray together let's pray to god and he is a god who can hear your concern and he can deliver you he can protect you and his salvation is there for you he will deliver you from all kinds of dangerous situation let's pray together dear lord we want to thank you for this wonderful time thank you lord for giving us this time to spend in your presence and worshiping you and listening from your word thank you for the powerful word thank you for the reminder great reminder that you have given us in this morning again a lot lord we know that the safest place in this world is only in your presence and you are the most high god and you are the almighty god you can deliver us from all kinds of struggles and problems lord i pray for the people who are listening who are praying with me in your name i pray that i send the deliverance to their home their personal life any struggles that they are facing or any challenges that they are facing any concerns that they are in lord i pray to care for them to take away all the struggles to heal them completely to heal their heart to heal their sickness to heal all their problems a lot in your name we pray that to deliver them from all kinds of dangers we also remember the brother uh, our brothers and sisters who are struggling uh, who are battling with the sickness who are battling with this virus we pray in your name to send your deliverance from all kinds of uh, struggles a lot we pray for our nation we pray for the government authorities who are in handling uh, health department who are handling this uh, to ease to solve this uh, the dangerous situation a lot give them wisdom give them your strength lord let your presence be with every one of us a lot Lord give us your strength and power to each one of us Lord thank you Lord for giving us a powerful promise that your angels are there to guard us each one of us Lord as in this week coming week as we spent uh, our time at your home or going out for very emergency concerns Lord we pray that your presence to be with them Lord Lord you sent your angels guard each one of us lord thank you lord for your promise and your presence to each one of us lord thank you for the greatest dwelling place that you have promised us lord thank you lord for hearing and answering our prayer in jesus name we pray amen amen before we receive the benediction we will also will have the same uh the live program in next week uh, same time 11 to 12 uh, i would request every one of you to make uh, the time very useful and pray at your home spend time in prayer spend uh, time with your family and rejoice in the lord may god bless you may god be with you let's receive the benediction now may the love of father grace of son jesus christ and sweet and energizing power of the holy spirit be with each one of us now and forevermore amen 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 thank you all for watching with me